everybody, Curly and Specs here, and today we're going to survive the first night of Minecraft. So to craft the essentials, we will need to be in survival mode, which we can do by pressing single player, pressing create new world, and then name the world whatever you want to name it. I'm going to name it Curly's world. And then over here, you can change this. So we've got survival, hardcore, and creative. And for today, we need it on survival mode. So click that and then click create new world. So at the beginning of a new world we all need a crafting table so let's go find some wood. And there's some wood here. So now we have the wood we have to press the E button on the keyboard and then select the wood and place it there in our inventory. And that gives us wooden planks which we can use for basically everything. So we've got 24 now. And now we've got this we can place each one of these wooden blocks, planks, around here and that makes our crafting table. So now we have a crafting table. So now we've got the essential crafting table, we will now need to make a home so that mobs can't attack us. So to place a block to build a house, we will scroll the wheel on your mouse so that you go to where the wooden planks are. And then with your mouse you will right click and you will place however many blocks you want. This is the home that we've created and as you can see there is no door, which can be quite a problem if mobs come because it means they can just literally walk through here and blow up, eat us, shoot us with arrows. So this is where the crafting table comes in handy. If we place the crafting table here in the corner and then click on it and then place wooden planks in two straight down rows of three. Like that. I'm going up. And that gives us a door. Well, it gives us three doors. So now we've got the door. And remember, use the wheel to scroll to the door if you need to. And then we just right click and we place the door. Works like a normal door. We're safe for now. So if we go back over to the crafting table, I will show you how to make wooden sticks, which can be used to make tools or torches or anything like that that involves a stick. So now we've got the wooden sticks, I can now show you how to make a pickaxe, axe, sword and a shovel. And these are basically the essentials for the first night of Minecraft. So to make a pickaxe, we need to place two wooden sticks on top of each other and then place three wooden planks across the top. So if we just place it like that and then like that and then place three wooden planks across the top like so and we've got our first wooden pickaxe. Now to make an axe we need a similar setup but place two wooden planks on top of each other in the left hand corner and then a wooden plank next to them like so and that gives us an axe. Axe is really useful for chopping down trees. Pickaxes are really useful for general mining. And to make a sword we will need to place a wooden stick at the bottom of our crafting table here and then place two wooden planks on top of that. So if we just remove that stick, place that there and remove that and there's our wooden sword. Finally, to make a shovel, we will need a similar setup to the sword, but with two wooden sticks rather than one. So if we remove the wooden planks, and then place the wooden stick there, and we've got a wooden shovel. And basically, that is for now the basic tools for Minecraft. With our fancy new tools, we can now break blocks quicker, but also get resources from them. So I would never try and break a stone without a pickaxe because you won't actually get anything from it and it will just be a wasted 30 seconds. Uh, so we need to find some stone. I think I found some over there. So to use a tool we'll just use the left hand button on the mouse and just mine. Mine away. 
and because we're in water I'm just going to swim around to pick up anything that might have fallen. Now the reason why I need stone is that we need to make a furnace so that we can make our torches later on. Now the weird thing about stone is that when you mine it, it actually goes into your inventory as cobblestone, but it still works the same. You don't necessarily need stone. As you can see at the bottom of my hotbar, my pickaxe will soon break because it's very weak because it's basically, it's just made of wood. Ah, there you go, it's broken now. So while I'm here, I'll also show you about sand. You can use a shovel for sand. Get sand blocks. They're quite easy to break. And I'm going to get a load of sand because as you can see in our house, there's a couple of holes there. So I'm going to make glass windows. So now we've mined our stone, we can now make a furnace, which we can use to cook food, for example, or make torches. So we make a furnace by placing a stone piece all around the outside, apart from the one in the middle. And that's our furnace. Since we're at the crafting table, I will show you quickly how to make a chest. They're not essential for the first night of Minecraft, but I definitely would recommend it because it means that your inventory won't get full up with random things that you've found. So this egg that I've got and these seeds that I've got can go into a chest so I don't have to carry them about everywhere. So we'll just... It basically is the same way of making a furnace. So there's our chest. So just place one all around the outside, making sure that the one in the middle is left on its own. So then we can place a furnace next to there and scroll along the hot bar and there's our chest. This is what a chest looks like inside, so we can just place them there. Or just all the random bits. I mean, I probably won't need another door for now. So you remember that my pickaxe broke earlier, so now I'm going to make another one. Now that I have cobblestone, I can make a slightly better pickaxe, slightly stronger. It will last longer as well, and it's made from stone. Now we have our furnace, we can make torches, and these are ideal for placing inside a home, but also around the outside of the home to avoid mobs from spawning at night time. We need coal to make torches, and this can even be done by mining coal, which is little black bits inside of stone or by burning wood with something that burns, such as wooden planks. But that makes charcoal. There we go. So now we've got our charcoal, we can use our wooden sticks from earlier that we used to make the tools, and go to the crafting table, and place one there, and place that there. And it gives you four torches. So I'm just going to use all of the charcoal up. Get that off. We've made enough so that mobs can't spawn near our house. This way creepers can't blow up all of our hard work. I'm going to place, so scroll along the hot bar again, and I'm going to place one in that corner, so just right click again to place, one in that corner, so they light up half of the room each. Go outside and just place one around on the floor like that, so they stand up when they're placed like that. This just means that we can get outside at night and not have to worry about creepers going <laughs> So now with our stone pickaxe we can now go and mine some iron which we will need to make shears so that we can shear a sheep or a few sheep and then we can get some wool from them and then we can make a bed and there's something down there so let me get my stone pickaxe so now we have five iron but we can't use it the way that I've just mined it so we're going to have to turn it into iron ingots which can be done by placing the iron here, something flammable at the bottom. So now we've just smelted it, and uh, that's our iron ingots. They're basically iron bars, but on Minecraft they're called ingots. And then we go over to our crafting table and place them 
in a diagonal line like so and there's our shears we only need one so I'll take these back and I'll place them in our chest that we have so I don't lose them and now we need to go find ourselves some sheep and there's two right outside our house. It's like they knew. They knew I needed a bed. So they've come to our rescue. <gasps> there we go. Just right click again. They look a little bit funny now. <laughs> and after you've sheared their sheep, you can always go back to it later on. And you'll find that it has more wool on it. So if you've only got one sheep, don't worry because it will give you more. So now we've got our wool, we can go back in here, in our little cosy home, go back over to the crafting table, and we can place three across here, as such, and then three wooden planks across the bottom, and that will make us a bed. So now we've got a bed, we can choose where it's going to go, and I fancy it being over here by the torch, so that I can read at night. Now the way to place beds is that you've got to place it on the second block as if you're looking at it. So this block here, and there you go, and there's our bed placed. And the reason why I've told you to get a bed is that once you sleep in it, or click on it, right click, and so it's night time, so we're allowed to sleep, and that will set our spawn point so if we ever die, or we come back into the world, then we will start in our lovely little home here. And the very last thing that we'll do is to cover up these holes so that people can't, well, mobs can't get in and just make horrible noises, try and kill me as I walk past. So the sand that we got earlier, we will place in the top of this furnace, then place some wooden planks at the bottom, and then smelt it, and it will smelt into glass. So I think six will be enough for now. So I'll place them back, place them back. Go over to the window and just right click. Now you have to be careful when you place glass because if you break it, it will not turn into glass, it will just break. There we go. And there you go. We survived the first night of Minecraft. Thanks everybody. Bye.